Hello, this is Belize. And Lisa has made landfall on our, on, on Belize as a Category 1 hurricane. Oh, please, Lisa, don't hurt Belize. Lisa made landfall along the coast of our country on Wednesday. The storm, which is the 12th name system of this year, has become the sixth hurricane of the year and has potential to bring life-threatening storm. Oh, no. Near Belize City over the course of tonight. The storm made landfall near the mouth of the Saiban River, about 10 miles southwest of Belize City at approximately 4.20 Central Time. Lisa made landfall with maximum sustained winds of 85 miles an hour. Holy moly. It was moving west at 12 miles an hour. It's moving kind of slow, so we've got to be a little worried. Hurricane first winds extended outward to 15 miles from the center. Reports of damage in Belize City has already started coming in due to the, to the landfall, with several houses losing their roofs. Oh, no. We have no roofs under, under some of the houses. A hurricane warning was in effect for the entire coast of Belize and from Chitomo to Puerto, Puerto Costa Maya, Mexico on Wednesday. A tropical storm warning was also in effect from Puerto Costa Maya to Puerto Island, Mexico and the Bay Islands of Honduras. Everybody, stay inside. Don't come outside. It's going to be windy and wet. Forecasters have suggested since the middle of October that a tropical storm could brew in our region sometime around the end of October or during early November. And guess what it is? It's early November. On Sunday, which was the end of October, the system began to steadily organize. Meteorolog meteorologists began to refer to budding storm as a tropical rainstorm in order to help people to, in the projected path of, to begin to prepare and take it seriously. Now you guys are in trouble. We are in trouble. Satellite images on Tuesday showed thunderstorms more centrally located around the middle of the tropical storm, which means, guess what? It's growing. Forecasters also observed an uptick in lightning. Oh, no, not an uptick in lightning. Near the center of the storm, forecasters said these developments were a key indicator that Lisa was poised to gather strength. Oh, no, the Western Caribbean has a history of storms that have undergone rapid intensification, provided the right atmospheric conditions were in place and because the water is so warm. As a word of caution, they say, it's also worth noting that this storm is rather small, like Belize, but with tropical systems, this often means that if and when conditions allow it to finally become better organized, a sudden burst of intensification cannot be ruled out. The deep water temperatures in the path of the storm are bath-like and in the 80 degrees Fahrenheit. While wind shear is forecast to drop off in the northwestern Caribbean. These con conditions could foster rapid strengthening. Oh no, 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 not us. Wind shear rep is represented by stiff breezes from the same direction or varying directions. AccuWeather meteorologists have rated Lisa as a one on the AccuWeather real impact scale for hurricane in Central America, and less than one for portions of southern Mexico. Don't underestimate it. A life-threatening situation could happen. So be careful. General four to eight inches of rain will fall in the storm's path. That's a lot of rain. But some local ones of up to 12 inches. In addition to urban flooding as usual, streams and rivers are expected to rise while runoff over the hillsides can lead to mudslides. Oh no, we got mudslides, we got hurricanes, we got risks coming off. No, winds near the center of the storm could be 100 miles an hour. And now it appears the steering breezes would no longer guide Lisa into eastern Pacific. Be very careful out there. All we know is it's going to be very scary for the next few days in Belize and the surrounding areas, so be careful. Just so you know, the Atlantic hurricane season will officially conclude November 30th. Then we don't have to wait no more. Unfortunately, we have to worry about it now. So, thank you everybody, and please pray for Belize. And say, please Lisa, don't hurt Belize. And don't forget to tell your friends and family to subscribe to Minnesota, Oregon. Goodbye.